Hello, this is me, Dr. Tanya Hashik. Today's topic of discussion is folliculogenesis. Ovarian cycle. So during the reproductive cycle in female, that is the 28 day cycle, certain changes occur inside the ovary. So it can be divided into three phases, that is the pre-ovulatory phase, ovulatory phase and the post-ovulatory phase. So pre-ovulatory phase, it is the phase before ovulation takes place and here it mainly consists of the maturation of the follicles that is the ovarian follicles and ovulatory phase it is the phase during which ovum is released and post ovulatory phase it is the phase after ovulation so first we will discuss about the pre ovulatory phase that is the phase before which ovulation takes place and during this phase, the follicles, that is the ovarian follicles, matures. So now we will discuss about pre-ovulatory phase. So folliculogenesis, it is a maturation of the ovarian follicles. That is the primordial follicles mature into primary, secondary follicle, pre follicle, tertiary follicle and thereby to graphene follicle. So, the process of maturation of the ovarian follicle is called as the folliculogenesis. So, it occurs during the first stage of the ovarian cycle. That is the pre-ovulatory phase. So, here you can see the primordial follicle, primary follicle, secondary follicle, pre follicle, tertiary follicle and the graphene follicle. So first we will discuss about the primordial follicle. So primordial follicle, these are developed before birth itself. That is the primary oocyte. We have already discussed about the primary, primary oocyte and how it is formed. And when the primary oocyte is formed, it is surrounded by a layer of flat epithelial cells. And this results in the formation of the primordial follicle. And these are present even before birth. And these are formed even before birth and during birth there are up to 4 lakh primordial follicles in the ovary. And by puberty there will be only up to 40,000 primordial follicles and all other primordial follicles undergo degeneration and they destroy. So during puberty there will be only up to 40,000 primordial follicles and these are the basic units of reproduction during puberty in a female ovary. So this is the primary oocyte and these are covered by a layer of flat epithelial cells and this result in the formation of the primordial follicle. So these are the basic unit of that these are the basic reproductive unit during the puberty. So during each cycle, that is during each reproductive cycle, 10 to 15 primordial follicles starts to mature and it results in the formation of primary follicle, secondary follicle, pre follicle, tertiary follicle and thereby graphene follicle. So the first among them is the primary follicle. So in a primary follicle, the primary oocyte it is covered by a layer of columnar or cuboidal cells. So the growing follicle, it forms a layer in between the follicular cells and the primary oocyte. And that is called as the zona pellucida. So this is the zona pellucida and these are the columnar or cuboidal cells and inside it is the primary oocyte. So these two are separated by a layer of glycoprotein and that is called as the zona pellucida. So the cells covering the primary oocyte it is also called as the granulosa cells. So in a secondary follicles more and more layers of granulosa cells are formed. That is the follicular cells it undergo mitotic division and it results in the formation of more and more layers of granulosa cells. And it is also called as stratum granulosa. And the primary oocyte it enlarges up to 40 microns and the nucleus it becomes vascular. So in a secondary follicle 
more and more layers of granulosa cells are formed and it is also called as a stratum granulosum and the primary oocyte it becomes some more big and the nucleus becomes vascular and the zona pellucida layer in between the follicular cells and between the primary oocyte it is completely formed during the stage of secondary follicle. So as more and more granulosa cells are formed and these granulosa cells it secrete a fluid and it result in the fluid fill spaces in between the granulosa cells and that is called as a preandral follicle. So a preandral follicle it is characterized by means of fluid filled spaces in between granulosa cell. So later the fluid filled spaces it combines to form a single follicular antrum and the granulosa cell surrounding the primary oocyte it is pushed to one side. So in a tertiary follicle or an, an antral follicle the fluid filled spaces it combine to form the follicular antrum and the granulosa cell surrounding the primary oocyte is pushed to one side. So this is the tertiary follicle here you can see a single fluid filled antrum called as the follicular antrum and the primary oocyte it is surrounded by the granulosa cells is pushed to one of the sides. So due to the effect of FSH and LH one of the tertiary follicle it enlarges to form the graphene follicle. So we have already discussed that during each reproductive cycle 10 to 15 primordial follicle it starts to mature and it reaches various stages and one among them one of the tertiary follicle among them it due to the effect of the FSH and LH it result in the enlargement of the follicle and it result in the formation of a graphene follicle. So all other follicles it degenerates and destroys. So this is a graphene follicle. It is characterized by a large fluid filled antrum called as the follicular antrum and it pushes the primary oocyte to one of the sides and the layer of granulosa cell which immediately covers the primary oocyte and the zona pellucida is called as the corona radiata. So the layer of granulosa cell which immediately cover the primary oocyte and the zona pellucida is called as the corona radiata. The projection of granulosa cells which projects the primary oocyte towards the follicular antrum this is called as a cumulus euphoricus and the primary oocyte along with the corona radiata it is attached to the wall of the follicle and this part becomes the discus proligerus. So the projection of the granulosa cell which projects the primary oocyte towards the follicular antrum this becomes the cumulus euphoricus and the primary oocyte along with the corona radiata it is attached to the wall of the follicle and that part becomes the discus proligerus. As the follicle it becomes more and more bigger the stromal cells surrounding the follicle it condenses and it forms a covering around the follicle and that is called as the theca interna. So this is the theca interna and the fibrous tissue surrounding it, it also condenses and form another layer called as the theca externa. So this is a completely mature graphene follicle and this graphene follicle it enlarges and ruptures and this result in the release of the ovum or the secondary oocyte. So we will discuss about that later. So in a graphene follicle it has cumulus euphoricus, discus proligerus and the corona radiata that is a layer of granulosa cell that immediately covers the primary oocyte and also the zona pellucida and it has got a theca interna and also a theca externa. So this is the end of today's class. 
and for more videos please subscribe to my channel and press the bell button